Grandma, Granny, Mom. The names were referred to our cherished grandmother. She was many things to many people, but for approximately 39 of us, she was our grandmother. Not only did she raise our parents with the values which transcended generations, but loved us as her own. Mom had a huge influence on our spiritual lives. She made it her mission to instill good Christian values within all of us. For many of us, our first exposure to Jesus came via the song, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. How can I forget the Friday afternoons while playing with friends when at 5.55pm we would all be summoned to the living room to begin Sabbath worship? These worships weren't the ordinary ones. After singing her favorite songs from her hymnal and participating in prayer, each of us were required to memorize biblical scriptures. Reciting scriptures had become more nerve-wracking than a class exam because, while exams had established rules, we always had to operate by the evolving rules of mum. As these sessions progress, we would soon be forced to retire Genesis 1-1 and John 3-16 because, according to mum, they were recited too often. Thankfully, I always passed these classes and never got to find out whether she would really spank me as promised. I am happy I was exposed to the teachings as I rely on them today for daily strength and courage. As we grew, our grandmother, who personified discipline, would have become more of a friend. Jovial with a sense of humor which characterized her evolving role and personality which changed when her little ones would become teenagers and then young adults. I can fondly remember teasing her about her never-ending love for her beloved Matthew or lying about my intentions of growing dreadlocks. <laughs> if only looks could kill. She was full of life and loved all her children and grandchildren. Although she was faced with perhaps the most painful period in her life, when her beloved son, my father, Peter, died, Mum remained steadfast in her faith and purpose to bring joy and share knowledge to her large family whom she all cherished. Her passing leaves a void within all of us. We miss her smile, her kiss, her hug. We miss her every day and will continue to do so for the duration of our worldly existence. I am blessed to have had an unbreakable bond with her and I'm sure all my siblings and cousins do too. Rest in peace, Grandma.